kind of open up and take a look at an expansion here for Thunderstone Advance. The uh, base game for Thunderstone Advance is Thunderstone Advance Tower of Ruin. That's where they kind of reimagined the game and started it over. All that stuff's still supposed to be compatible with the old just generic Thunderstone, which I don't believe they produce under that name now. I think all their stuff has the advanced tag on it. And this is an expansion that just has more monsters and heroes and equipment and villagers in it. The, uh, the base game has room to uh, put all the cards with the dividers in it. So. I imagine you have to have the base game to play. think you could you might be able to get away with doing it with the expansion but I just think you need at least rules. See where this one comes with a poster. The base game comes with a fold out board like this. So this looks like it's almost like a uh, tower defense set up. You have your walls here. You got a dungeon deck and a curse deck and then you have rank one, two, and three. I'm not really sure. I haven't read the instructions for that. So. That's a different board setup than comes in the original game. You have a, an expansion book here. A little bit of story there. You have a card list. Uh, looks like there's some something about reprints. Uh, where they so, something read, reading here about how they reprinted some of the cards due to quality. Uh, we have uh, new rules, and that goes on to. Things. We have some more treasures. I believe they started doing the treasures in one of the other expansions. You have some siege rules, which I'm assuming was what that fold-out map was for. And you can see they have it set up in some of these plays here. Uh, you get a little card glossary. Some uh, different scenarios where it tells you what heroes, villagers, and monsters to use to set up a game. And it ends off with your credits. You get some dividers here. And you have a little bit of wood. The rest of the cards aren't like that. I don't know if this is an older set, maybe it's been sitting around a while. They do have a little bit of a bow to them. The divider cards are longer, so it's easier to see. Get all those packs in there. I'm going to open them up and come back to them with them all displayed out so you get an idea what what you get distributed throughout the... Uh, so I've got the uh, cards sorted from this uh, expansion. The uh, Root of Corruption expansion. So you're going to end up with one, seven new heroes. You get five new villagers. Three new item cards three new spell cards and five new uh, weapon cards. You get a guardian which is a new kind of uh, monster. I believe it goes in the top third of the deck when you make the monster deck. It's like it had this one. You only get one of them and uh, I guess it's the Uh, first one of its kind, I don't remember. It looked to be from the rule book like a 
they just started the mechanic in this expansion. You get a Rune Bearer, King Caven. You get some Curse cards, a Curse of Compromise. You have your Randomizer cards. I'll go through those in a minute so you can see what all the other cards. You get an assortment of new Treasure cards here. We will grab those and look at those real quick. So you have a Golden Hammer, a Magic Shield, another Magic Shield, and a, mobiliz a Mobilization Orb. And a couple of wands of fear. And get your deck dividers to sort out all the cards. You get five new monster groups. You have elementals, incarnates, which are some kind of abyssal monster like little demons. You have gnolls, gin bound, they're corrupted, royal guard that are corrupted, that's a human kind of monster, and then a summoner, and they're thrall summoners, and the way they work is when you, instead of fighting that summoner, you have a thrall deck, and you just pick a monster at random from the thrall deck, so these are monsters from the previous, uh, they may be from the base game. Some of them may be new, but you get a Pegasus, a Red Jelly, a Gray Skin, an Unchained, Acid Spitter, like a little lizard man, an Undead, another Undead, a Cyclops, a Hydra, a Griffin, a, a White Dragon, and then kind of a an Abyssal looking demon thing. So when you get one of these and you go to fight it, you'll pull one at random from there to fight. So those are all the new cards, but they've also included some reprints to uh, replace some cards from the previous game. I'll put the lens on so we can take a closer look at what it is. In the original card, you see where it has its the monster description. It has there that the monster's an ambusher. They decided that that really was hard to see and not a real good graphical design, so they've reprinted those cards with that to have a little icon kind of bigger there with Ambusher. So you get a handful of those. You get a couple of different bat ones, a couple of troll ones, uh, a few cobalt ones, some uh, different bird men ones here two two different kinds two of each and some different worm ones here looks like you have two of one kind and three of another so we'll look at the randomizer cards real quick so you can see some of the stuff that comes in here you have a dwarf fighter real good focus you just have to be a little blurry and you have a human wizard, a blade mage, a human fighter cleric, which is an honor man, a Corvaxis ranger called a moon claw, that's kind of a bird man, a human cleric wizard called a profane, a silver, turn, a silver tongue swindler, it's a human thief, and a tree folk cleric, it's a wood guard. You get the treasure randomizer card which just goes in your monster deck and when you get this you throw the treasures in there and then you draw another uh, monster randomizer. You don't have more than one treasure card in your deck at all though. And you get the randomizers for the gin bound, the elemental, the gnolls, the incarnates, the roll guard, the summoners, and you get one for the guardian. But there's only one guardian in the game so far, it looks like. You have your villagers here. You have a debased villager, a hedge witch, a stable hand, a hysterical villager, and we have our item deck here. You have a blood debt, kind of a little signed contract there, a tincture of victims, a little lab set. Elven Way Bread. And we have our spells. We have Rage of Disowned. We have 
circle of protection. Got a mind control spell. And then we have the weapons that come in this set. You have a live oak bow, a labrus, which is looks like it's a kind of a two-headed axe, a maul, a great sword, and a cursed dagger. So that is everything that comes in the Thunderstone Advance Root of Corruption expansion.